I'm gonna try to make a short video to let you know what Jimmy, who I call Dad, means to me. So at first I have to go back and tell you a little bit of history to refresh his memory because I had to refresh my own. I met them, the Hoppers, in 1985 or 1986. Jen and I were in sixth grade and we became best friends quickly. Uh, therefore, I spent a lot of time at the Hopper's house. Um, I think that my first impression of Jimmy was fear. The first time I went to Jennifer's house, um, we walked in and I heard somebody yelling and I kind of wanted to turn around and run outside, but I didn't. And we kept on walking into the living room and there he was standing and he was yelling at the TV. I bet you can't imagine what he was watching. Okay, I'll tell you. Alabama football. Yes, he was going crazy. And I learned quickly that that was one of his favorite things in the world. And that he wasn't mean or scary at all. He was just real emotional about football. After that game, uh, I do remember he took the time to, you know, introduce himself and talk to me and get to know me a little. And I'll never forget that because that was pretty awesome. Because most parents, you know, they don't pay attention when you go to other kids' houses. And I'll never forget that. That was really neat. Also, um, I want to tell you how impressed I was about a family unit. I am from a broken home and things were just not normal. But when I first spent the night there, Jen and I woke up the next morning and it was a given that you always had to go to church on Sundays, no matter what, no matter how late you were up the night before. And also you had to go downstairs and eat breakfast together. That very first time, I was so shocked. I couldn't believe it. Like, the whole family and little old me were all sitting at the table. It was a fantastic breakfast. I'll never forget. It was pancakes, bacon, scrambled eggs, and orange juice. And even though I'm not a breakfast eater, I ate that, and it was really good. But I really enjoyed, like, that whole sitting at the table together thing. Only thing, only time I had ever done that was, like, at Thanksgiving or Christmas with my family, you know. But, no, this was an everyday occurrence there. And I made a meal note that I wanted my family to be like that someday. Another thing that I remember about um, Dad is how patient and forgiving he always was. Um, he, you know, put up with a lot of crazy antics for me and Jen, especially middle school years. We were so silly, taping our arms together, going and eat dinner, and just all kind of craziness. But sometimes it wasn't silly, sometimes it was bad. There was one time in particular, I remember, I think we were in 11th grade, he came to my house to pick Jen up. Oh, it was bad. And he didn't yell at us, he didn't lecture us. He just said, it's time to go home, Jen. And they went home. I was terrified to go to their house the next time because I thought, oh, he's gonna hate me. He's not gonna want us to be friends anymore. But I was so wrong. When I got there, he greeted me with a smile, gave me a little hug like he always did. And he just let it go. We never brought it up again. I couldn't believe it. Never seen anything like that before. So I've kept that in mind, being a parent myself. And um, I, I try to be like that. Um, he, he also showed me how a man should treat his wife. Uh, the only other time I've seen that was with my grandparents, and it was very special, but I was with Jimmy and Carolyn a lot more than my, grandpa than my grandparents. And he was always doting on her and so sweet and hugging her and telling her he loved her and they were affectionate and I loved that and I thought I want to marry a man like that someday. Um, so he he's just somebody that's very encouraging and wise and gentle and sweet and I didn't really know what I was going to do in college but um, you know he said that it would come to me and I went to school and he was right it did it came to me later and everything worked out I had a great career. Um, he helped me with marriage and divorce. Getting through that was terrible, but he gave me a lot of advice. He's also helped me with parenting, especially step parenting. I became a step parent in 2011 when I married Jason. Sometimes I've been great, but sometimes I've been pretty dang hard. I've talked to dad about that on a couple of occasions. He gave me some great advice and really helped me a lot to get through that. And I can never thank you enough for that, dad. So special. Okay, um, and I guess the most important thing I want to tell you is that he's always happy to see me. Um, 
He always gives me a sweet gentle hug so that he doesn't hurt my back and he gives me a kiss on the cheek and he tells me how beautiful I am. And that's the most important thing because as a 43 year old woman, who doesn't want to be told that by a handsome older man that you respect so much. Anyway, I'll sum it all up and say, I love you, dad. I cherish you. Thank you so much for taking me in as a child of your own. Happy birthday. I will always be here for you. And I just hope it's a wonderful party.